Hey guys, it's Extreme Strategy here, and today we're back in core, and we are going to be playing One Shot Kill, made by Toga Games. What this game is, is it is a shooter that involves killing both players and robots. Now let's hop straight into it. Alright, here we are inside of the game. These are just the typical bots, and basically everything is, well, a one shot kill, as the name suggests. The bots die in one shot, players will die in one shot, you will die in one shot. If it exists, and if it can die, it will die in exactly one shot. And the bots here are a bit stupid, as to be expected. They are bots after all. And this entire map is very, very large. It basically is divided into four various sections. Each one of the sections has something slightly different. So here we have basically a castle in the one section, and it kind of loops around into another different section. And we have just an absolute ton of towers. Oops, I fell. An absolute ton of towers over here, along with bots guarding them, per usual. And then on this area, this final area, we have four watchtowers. One at each corner, and I have an absolute ton of bots shooting at me. So let me just absolutely execute all of them, and let's see if I can actually do this entire round without dying once. That would be pretty impressive. Also, on average, you have a double jump. However, every time you kill a bot, you get three ammo, and you can use a triple jump once. So instead of jumping twice, you actually jump three times. And, of course, I die <laughs> at 18 kills. And there is the 20th kill. The round ends in a couple of seconds. Where will we respawn? We will respawn right here. All right, now we have to wait for the lobby to end, and now we're on a different crate. So you have all these crates up here, and then you also have zip lines as well, which I actually just missed horribly. So when you ride the zip line, you can swing it on over, and it looks like I'm just going to flat out smack into a metal wall. The other thing you have are all these jump pads over here that you can use to leap all over the map, making it harder for both players and bots to kill you. You also will be able to gain ammo over time, so if you wind up using your ammo without killing a bot, don't stress it too much. You will be able to regain it naturally just through passing regeneration of ammo. So you can see in the lower left hand corner the ammo and health, and in the upper right hand corner the timer, and in the upper left hand corner you can see the players. Now I was hoping to have some other players in here because I did go into the Madcore lobby and say I was making a video on this. Apparently that's not enough, so I might go into the core discord server and see if I can pull anyone in from that. But first off, I want to see if I can get all 20 kills without dying once. I think the easiest way to do this is probably sticking to the high ground and just taking up a point like right here where you can just sit back and snipe everything. Currently I'm sitting at 11 kills, now 12 kills, and you just have to keep your eye out for bots that are either standing still or just spawning in. One of the two. And these ledges are your friend, and then you occasionally will get clusters of bots. Can I kill you without dying? Yes I can. 17 out of 20 kills. Last time I got killed at 18 kills. So let's see if I can do a bit better than that. 18, 19, and... no bot. Oh, there's one in the far distance. 20. So let me go see if I can pull in some other players real quick. Alrighty, and a ton of people that I convinced to join me inside of One Shot Kill, basically from the Magicor world, are now inside of here and I am already dead. Oh gosh. Son of Gale killed me. This is what core should be like. An absolute ton of players duking it out inside of shooters. This is core at its finest. And apparently also killing bots because why not? And who just shot my bot? That was my kill. My kill. Dead player. Like I said, one shot kill. You can see from the damage output that's actually 1,000 damage. 1,000 damage is the number. And now I'm also getting pinned down by bots. Okay, I'm dead. I'm also currently losing. And I'm gonna do two rounds with these players. Oh, whoops, and I just shot the floor trying to shoot a thing. I have the high ground and Yes, you do. Yes, you do. And a player is dead as well. And I've killed another bot. I have secured myself second place. Oh gosh, there's a player. Die. Oh gosh, there's a ton of players. Why is everyone... Is everyone gunning for me? I don't know. I think the bots are, though. That's for sure. So I'm just gonna hop around, try and stay mobile, try and just kind of keep an eye out on everyone, make sure that I don't have anyone sneak up on me, and I'm actually currently in first place. This is really good. And I'm actually staying in first place, which is pretty surprising. All right, there are currently an absolute ton of people. I think everyone is actually basically gunning for me. Hopefully I'm not giving you guys any motion sickness here because I'm swapping between the scope and just shooting. Oh, and I died. What did I die to? I got killed by Leo Oreo Kitten. Good shot, then. Good shot. Right, I'm heading to a less hectic area of the map. I'm just going to gun down that bot. And there goes a player on one of the jump pads. You know, those things are pretty helpful for escaping. The problem is that they're pretty helpful for escaping. And a bot just killed a player. Alright, looks like I might get killed by a bot too if I'm not careful here. 16 kills. And who is gunning me down? I was gunned down by Ashu Sahama. Um, my apologies to you if I misspelled your name. Alright, 17 kills. 18. And this is the final kill needed to win. And I win. 
Let me just tell everyone one more round, please. All right, shout off the message. Let us see. Oh my gosh, they're already killing people. In the time it takes me to request one more round for footage, it literally, they're already off killing people. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Gun down a player real quick, and then I get gunned down myself once again by Leo Oreo Kitten. I guess we know who has my head in their target reticle. Oops, I'm just gonna miss all the crates as well. Let's hope that does not result in my death. Now, there is one other feature that this game has, and that's something called the Death Punch. It's an instant kill melee attack, but it only works on players, not bots. So that is the one problem with it. And also, to be fair, you're probably going to be doing more shooting than you're going to be doing actually punching people. And I have been gunned down yet again, this time by First Stumper. So as you can see, the game is a whole lot harder when you're trying to play with other people instead of just trying to fight against bots. The game becomes a lot more intense. Gun down a player. I'm just watching the kill feed go absolutely berserk right now. This is actually pretty cool. You know what I should have done? I should have gotten Toga in here because he is the game creator. But I think when this video is released, I'm going to give this to Toga to see what he thinks. I got his permission to do it. I just never asked him if he wanted to be in it. That was probably my mistake. Also, these ammo crates, I believe, do give you more ammo. Yes, they give you plus three ammo. So whenever you kill a player and collect the ammo crate, it's plus three ammo automatically. And that is the death punch right there, absolutely knocking him out. You can see from the kill feed that I killed him with Death Punch. So that's its literal name. I think at this time, Rallop T1 is going to be the victor. I'm going to shoot yet another player. Yeah, he has only one more kill before he wins. I can try to get kills, but I... Yep, yeah, Thralopy wins. GG Thralopy. And also, I just spawned right next to someone. Die. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe. Go check out the Discord server, Core Games, and One Shot Kill. Links to all of that in the description below. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.